We're going to look at the blocks library feature in this tutorial and to start with I've just created a layout in a blocks page here. I've got what is what I would consider a main content area here with the text block and a dummy text added to that and then I've created kind of a sidebar with another text block here on the side and I've titled that with sidebar and then added an image there with some text and so if we preview that we'll see what is basically a layout of a website that's all done with blocks and so I want to use this on other pages as well and throughout other projects just to get myself a starting point for a layout of content with blocks and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this as a page to my blocks library to do that let's go to edit mode and we see a icon here at the bottom called library so we'll click on that and that will open up this window with two tabs one that says pages and one that says blocks we're going to start with the pages tab so I'm going to switch over to that you can see that there's just an empty space here below and what we want to do is we want to add this home page to the blocks library to do that we see a plus sign down here that I can select and so I'm going to click on that and that creates a library item and we see that here in the um, in the library now and that item is this page and so what I want to do is I just want to call this um, home page layout for example so I just double click on that title enter my new um, my new title for that block and so I see that here now when I select that right now it's very small we can zoom in using the slider here in the bottom corner and so zooming all the way gives us a better idea of what that looks like but let's see the purpose of this or the usefulness of this I'm gonna add another page and we'll just call that page 2 and now I want to switch to the pages tab and I want to drag, I want to grab that block and drag it onto the page here. And you see the plus sign up here? When we drop that, it will resize our page and fill it with the content as the home page has. Now this is a lot like the master page functionality, but the difference is that we can use this page throughout different projects. And so to do to show you an example of that in the power of the library block. Let's open up a new project. I'm going to do a command N for a new Rapid Weaver project. And so this is a blank project. I'll add my blocks page. And here's my blank page. If I go to the library and to the pages tab, that um, if I select it, we see the home page layout title. This is available um, for any project that you use blocks for. And so once again, I just drag and drop. And now I have myself a template to start my project with and so previewing that we see um, the page and I would need to change my um, theme settings here the width and the height and the, um, or the, the sidebar but um, the point of it being that you can use blocks library items um, throughout all of your Rapid Weaver projects not just in one single project which is um, as far as the master page is concerned that can only be set for one project but if you add a page to your library block here, then that will become available in any project as long as you're using the Blocks plugin. And so that is what the Pages library block is for. And of course, we could add as many different pages as we'd want here. Um, as you design different types of layout with content, you could add those pages to be Blocks library items, and, um, and then they would be available for all your projects. So that is an example of the pages block library item. So let's look at the blocks tab now in the blocks library. And we are going to add a new page to our site first. I'm going to just switch over and add a blocks page. And I'm just going to drag and drop some images into my blocks page from the finder. So I'm going to switch to the finder. And I'm going to grab a few different badges here. Let's drag in this made on a Mac badge. And my logo and let's see let's get the um, I love Rapid Weaver badge here so I've got these three images and let's just say for example that I want to use these consistently throughout some different website projects that I'm working on so what I need to do is just select these blocks set one by one and go to my blocks library uh, window here and select the plus sign 
and we now see that this um, I love rapid weaver badge has been added to the blocks library and I can name that if I want to just call that I heart RW and we'll take my logo do the same thing click the plus sign my logo is now added I'll just say logo for the name and we'll do one last for made on a Mac and I will call that made on a Mac so these different um, images are now available in my library to use on different projects on different pages and so if I wanted to add another page let's just say I want to use the logo for this page I would just drag it out of my library and drop it in and so that's now available I'll go back to page two and we'll look at adding an, an actual um, block of text if this block of text were something maybe a copyright um, or terms of use type information that that was going to be f basically the same on different sites I could uh, grab all this and create a block library item out of it so I click the plus sign and that would add another one here let me uh, expand this up a little bit so we can see it better so we can see here the text and that, let's just say I wanted this to be um, a terms of use and so now this block of text would be saved as a library item and I could use that in different sites and different projects once again if I create a new project in Rapid Weaver and I add a blocks page close that out just to show you we have a new um, project open up the library and here are my blocks and they're named here so as I select them we see the name so I'll grab my logo drop that in grab this block of text drop it in and then we see that here and I would need to expand the size of my page but um, but that is all saved um, so it, in a sense it's like assets for your projects but these are specific to blocks pages because it is a block feature with the library and so between saving entire pages or saving just pieces of content that's what the blocks library can be used for and so um, it can be a useful item if you're using multiple projects and having blocks in those projects and so um, take advantage of that feature um, if you find it to be helpful for you with that we will conclude this tutorial on the library feature in blocks